Hello there. Today we are going to see how to set up a Windows Terminal. So this is a new modern terminal which is developed by Microsoft. It's an open source application. It uh, It is uh, not tied with Windows OS releases. It's released. You can install it from Windows Store. Just search for a Windows Terminal in the Microsoft Store. You should be able to install it for free and um, it's open source application you can find the source code in github and uh, you can also contribute if you can so what we are going to do is to um, change the appearance of the windows terminal a little bit and make it look like this so it will be useful for people who use git or even who use terminal most of the time um, yeah it supports powershell it supports wsl it supports command line uh, it has mo uh, everything is um, stacked as a profile so you can have uh, azure shell command prompt and any kind of wsl distribution you have installed in your local machines and it supports uh, schema schemes and uh, configurations and you can also do your own key binding you can just check it out all those things and see how it works so um, the, the goal is to make the appearance look like this and then see what are the options available there okay I've installed the terminal it looks like this now uh, so uh, let's go and see what all the things we have to install to make it like this so the first thing we have to install is the font, uh, the Cascadia code font, because uh, we are going to install two modules, uh, the PowerShell modules and these, the, uh, the the theme of these uh, PowerShell module uh, on on my Porsche needs this Cascadia code, so we have to install Cascadia code. So you can um, download the font. I have already downloaded and installed the font, uh, so. If you open the Cascadia code fo um, folder in zip file, you will see three folders. And what we are interested in is in this OTF folder that is Cascadia code uh, PL. So we need all the PL um, fonts. So you can actually double click and install directly, or you can actually copy them and then put them in the Windows fonts folder. It also works. So once that is done, since we it's mostly connected to git uh, we also need git because uh it, it's not essential but it, it makes the git experience better most probably if you're uh if you're using uh cli or the command prompt to uh to manage your git repositories um yeah this would be really helpful so just install git Cascadia code and now we can install this on my Porsche or and Porsche kit. Um, so basically you can just follow along in this installation repository. Um, this these two are already available in the in the um, in the partial gallery so you can just copy this and then install them directly. So install module Porsche kit and install module oh my push and now uh, we can set a theme and then check whether uh, to like enable See, now we see the boxes, but the theme is enabled. The installation succeeded. Uh, but you see boxes because we didn't uh, tell uh, the terminal which fonts to use. So for that, you can come here and go to settings. And in the settings, um, there is, this is the Windows PowerShell terminal list. And then here you can say font face cascade. No, we don't want mono, we want code cascade. Yeah, code PL. 
So, once this is done, now we can see uh, proper fonts being loaded. So let's check the GitHub reposit Git repository. So this is a sample Git repository I, I created and we can see we are in the master branch and there is nothing there, it's just an empty GitHub repository. Not a GitHub, sorry, Git repository. Okay, so um, that seems to work, but if you close it and then reopen it, it's gone again. So what's going on? So uh, we just enable the, we just set the theme on the current context, but when you close it, the context is gone. So we have to come back and set the profile every time you open the PowerShell, you just set the proper, uh, modules to import and then set the theme. So that's what he's explaining, it's, it's explained here. So what you have to do is basically open the notepad and then set the profile. So this is the profile file and you can um, copy these and set. So what we are telling the PowerShell profile here is, so every time a profile is open, that means a PowerShell window is opened, you just import the module Porsche kit and oh my Porsche and set the theme as paradox. So uh, this will be executed every time when the uh, PowerShell window is opened. You save the profile and then close the notepad and now close the terminal, open the terminal again. Now it loads the theme properly and uh, loads the modules properly and you can again do ls and then do git test so the git repository also shows everything properly now let's go and check out the settings so uh, as you all as you can see that i've set the starting uh, directory here it's one of the options i like because I don't want to, uh, every time I open PowerShell, it just starts on that directory. I can change it to my working folder so that it's just already on, in my working folder as soon as I open PowerShell. Um, and then there are a bunch of um, key bindings which are really, really interesting. The most uh, useful I find is the split pane. So even though we can create like a new uh, tab, here and then it still looks good but having a pane split into two like two marks uh, where when the linux guys do that it's really really interesting because we can we don't need two tabs we can see the two tabs at the same time so uh, right now my uh, split pane is uh, at alt shift d this is the keys and uh, split is auto, so it will automatically figure out how to split the screen. So Alt Shift D, so it's split into two now because there's enough space. I will maximize it. I will do it again, again, again. So see, it just splits the window based on the space available and in the same screen. So I will exit them. Yeah, so that's like a really useful um, shortcut to have. And then there is also um, to find, you can actually see Control Shift F. So if you want to find, there's this find menu which will find it. And yeah, so you can go up and down and it just goes and finds the text to be easier in case if you're finding or like you're just taking a log and finding what text is available or not. Yeah, so if you go to the documentation of the Windows terminal, uh, there are there's a custom terminal gallery here. You can actually go over and then see how to set up the profile and the theme 
and there are a bunch of predefined uh, themes available as a JSON file you can just copy and paste them and then try out uh, whether the things work for you or not um, yeah and um, that's pretty much it this uh, looks really really good compared to the older terminals which is just a CMD command prompt yeah it's it's a really good improvement compared to this to this yeah that's pretty much it guys um, I hope you like it see you soon bye bye